Chapter 13, Learning Objective 1, Describe the Characteristics of a Proprietorship, Including How Its Financial Statements Are Different from Those of a Corporation. A proprietorship is a business owned by one person. It is not a separate legal entity. From an income tax perspective, the business income is reported and taxed as part of the owner's personal tax return. One important feature is that the owner has unlimited liability for the debts of the business, no matter the size or significance of that debt. When an owner invests, for example $10,000, in a proprietorship business, the entry would include a debit to cash for $10,000 and a credit to an account called owner's capital for $10,000. An investment into a corporation by a shareholder, or owner, is recorded with a debit to cash and a credit to share capital or common shares. When a proprietorship distributes, say $50, to its owner, it is considered a withdrawal and is recorded with a debit to a withdrawals account and a credit to cash. When a corporation distributes money to its owners, that distribution is called a dividend and is recorded with a debit to dividends and a credit to cash. If we compare the closing process for proprietorships versus corporations, we find that the first two entries to close revenues and expenses are all the same regardless of the type of entity. Revenues are still closed with a debit to revenues and a credit to income summary and expenses are still closed with a debit to income summary and credits to all the expense accounts. The third and fourth closing entries, however, differ between a proprietorship and corporation. For a corporation, recall that income summary is closed to retained earnings with a debit to income summary and credit to retained earnings, when there is net income, or the reverse of a debit to retained earnings and credit to income summary if there is a loss. For a proprietorship, income summary is closed to the owner's capital account rather than retained earnings. The final entry relates to the closure of dividends or withdrawals. Recall for a corporation, dividends are closed out with a debit to retained earnings and a credit to the dividends account. For a proprietorship, an owner withdraws cash rather than receiving a dividend, therefore the closing entry is to debit owner's capital instead of retained earnings and a corresponding credit to a withdrawals account instead of dividends account. Next, let's compare the financial statements between a proprietorship and a corporation using a simple consulting practice. If ABC was a corporation, we could call it ABC Incorporated and prepare an income statement that includes $400 in revenues, operating expenses of $180 for income from operations of $220. We could also have some interest revenue of $20 and a loss on sale of equipment for $5, resulting in income before tax of $235. Then the corporation would have income tax expense of $50, which is deducted to end up with net income of $185. If ABC was a proprietorship, it could just be called ABC Consulting and its net income would be calculated as $235. This is the same as the corporation's income before tax. Notice that there is no income tax expense for the proprietorship and that is because the individual owner of the proprietorship pays income tax on all his or her income, which could include sources other than the proprietorship. If we compare the statement of changes of equity of a proprietorship to a corporation, we see some major differences. First notice that there are no share capital or retained earnings columns. Everything is combined into a single owner's capital account. So, the owner's capital at the beginning of 2023 is $12,000 and during the year the owner added $1,000 and reported net income of $235 resulting in a subtotal of owner's capital of $13,235. Then the owner withdrew $150 to end up with $13,085 in owner's capital at the end of the year. The corporation also had a beginning year balance of $12,000, but that consisted of $9,000 in share capital and $3,000 in retained earnings. Owners invested $1,000 in exchange for shares, the company earned $185 in net income and $150 were paid in dividends to the owners resulting in total ending equity of $13,035. The difference between the two relates to the income taxes that are applied to the business-slash-corporate level whereas a proprietorship is not subject to tax at the business level. Finally, if we compare the balance sheets of a proprietor and corporation, we see that cash differs by $50, which relates to the income taxes paid by the corporation. 
Other assets are the same at $86,000 so total assets differ by the same $50. Liabilities are the same if the business were a proprietorship or a corporation. The equity section is where the major differences appear where the proprietor shows owner's capital of $13,085 carried over from the statement of changes in equity whereas the corporation shows both share capital of $10,000 and retained earnings of $3,035 for total equity of $13,035. Again, the difference is the $50 in corporate income taxes that were paid in cash resulting in less cash and lower retained earnings. The proprietorship is subject to tax only at the owner's personal income tax level.